So in this video, what we're going to be looking at are the two modes in which we can e edit our object. Now the first mode, which is the default one that you'll get when you start up a new scene, is called object mode. And you'll see that here in the bottom left, just down there. It says object mode. And what that means is if we do something to this object, for example, scaling it, it scales every part of that object. Every corner, every edge, face, everything's going to be moved. Um, if I rotate it around, it is doing the entire shape. However, sometimes you may only want to um, edit individual parts of it and that enables you to do more detailed work. So in that case, what we want to do is change from object mode down here to edit mode. And there is also a shortcut, which is the tab key on your keyboard. So once you're in edit mode, just press A to deselect everything, you can now select individual parts. Now there are three select modes and you'll see them down here on the bottom toolbar. Right now I'm in the vertex or corner selects, which means I can actually right click on a corner and it will select it. Um, if I want to multi-select, select two corners, I can hold down shift and now I've got both of them. Uh, there is edge select mode, which is the middle button down the bottom here. And that enables me to select individual edges. You see them going white there. And again, you can hold down the shift key to multi-select. And finally, you have the face select mode. And that enables us to right click and select individual faces or by holding down shift, we can select multiple faces. Now the advantage of this stuff is, and I'll show you with an edge select, if I select this leading edge here, I could actually now just push that out on the Y axis and you can see how it pushes that out and it stretches out that face so I'm able to do a little bit more detailed work. If I wanted to make it kind of a pointy end, I could actually go ahead and I could select a corner and bring it in, another corner, bring that in, and all of a sudden I have a very unusual looking shape. So that's the advantage of working in edit mode because you can change individual parts of the shape and do a lot more detailed work.